Hey guys, it's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at one of the new Lionel Union Pacific LED flag box cars. This one being the Steam Program car. First up as usual though, it's disclaimer time. The pros and cons in this video are not representations of my personal opinion. They attempt to be objective in nature and as such are either community opinions or facts about the models that I can represent on camera. So please don't assume that anything in this video is my personal opinion unless I state so otherwise. Additionally, it's important to note that I don't speak on behalf of Lionel and am not endorsed by any company. I'm an independent reviewer and the work I do does not reflect the thoughts of any companies in question. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's get started. All of Lionel's LED flag box cars were offered in the 2018 Volume 1 catalog and were finally delivered in early 2019. In terms of construction, these cars are all pretty much the same, a standard Lionel 60-foot auto parts box car, but the flashy paint schemes on all of these models, plus the stunning UP flag on the sides, makes these very nice collector items. In addition to the Steam Program car, there's also a standard UP Armor Yellow box car, there's one for all six of Union Pacific's heritage units, those being Missouri Pacific, Western Pacific, Missouri Kansas Texas, or Katy, Rio Grande, Chicago and Northwestern, and Southern Pacific. And there's also one for the spirit of the Union Pacific as well. So there's basically any flavor of UP related stuff in the forms of these cars, the Steam Program one being my personal favorite. On one side of the car we see a nice image of UP's three steam locomotives from the program, 484 Northern number 844, Challenger number 3985, and the newly restored Big Boy 4014. And to the right, there's a large UP Shield logo as well. On the other side is the road number for the car, 4884, and the main selling feature of the car, the giant UP American flag. Inside the box cars, there are a pair of LED light boards which provide the lighting for the stars on the flag. My only real complaint is you have to be at eye level with the car in order to see the lights clearly, but the effect is still really cool to see, and when you turn out the lights, it stands out even more. The doors on the car open and close as they do on any standard Lionel scale box car, and if you look inside, you can actually see the LED panels that light up the flag. The undersides of all of these cars are standard Lionel in both detail and function. Die-cast metal sprung trucks and couplers with rotating bearing caps and one pickup roller on each truck to provide center rail power for the lights. That's pretty much it for this car, it's just a fun little collector's item that would go well in anyone's fleet. If you're interested in picking one of these cars up, they retail for an MSRP of $119.99. I ordered mine from Legacy Station in Lilburn, Georgia. They also have several other cars in stock from this same run at the time of this recording. So if you want to check their availability, you can give them a call at 770-339-7780. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next review, which will be the MTH Rail King Scale Maersk Sealand FP45. This is Ravenhawk6910. Signing off.